tutorial. This time what we're going to do is we're going to uh, enable a couple of virtual sites on my server um, and in order to be able to allow the user to go to different websites, uh, I'm going to allow them to pick different IP addresses. So in other words, what's going to happen is I'm going to set up my Ubuntu server to have two different IP addresses. Now this is something that you wouldn't generally have the ability to just go and start picking up your own IP addresses because you'll probably cause conflicts. But if you're doing some stuff on your own local area network, it's completely fine. Or if you go off, if you're running this on the internet and your internet service provider gives you a couple of IP addresses, addresses, well then that can also be done. If you don't have the ability to give yourself a new IP address that doesn't conflict with other things, uh, then you would have to use some other techniques which I will show in a future, in a future tutorial. Okay, so first of all, to begin with, uh, you can see that I've already got this page loaded up back here, my 192.168.68.12 and uh, IP ADDR show. You can see right now that uh, my ETH0, my only, my one and only network adapter, has exactly one IP address. Uh, the second thing that I've done, which I will show you first before we get to anything else, is to show you the Apache 2 sites enabled folder. Uh, and right now there's only one thing enabled. And if you remember inside my site available, I've got also something called red and something called blue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enable all of the sites blue red and 000 default. So a 2 n site uh, red.conf and a 2 n site blue.conf. And as it's suggesting here, I'm going to reload the Apache configuration file so that I get these new changes. All right, second thing I'm going to do is to go into the sites enabled folder and I'm going to cat everything. Okay, so let me, let me read through here what we've got. Now, Remember, if I say cat star, it's going to cat out everything exactly in the order that it appears alphabetically. So this part right here is going to be 000 default. The next part is going to be blue, and the final part is going to be red. Okay, so we know this already. We can also tell from the document root which ones, uh, which files these happen to be. All right, now the way how this works, when a request comes into Apache, uh, what it does is it looks for an entry called a virtual host and it tries to pick the first one that ends up matching the particular request in sort of the best way. And you'll notice that all of these things, there's nothing in here identifying different web servers. For example, they all say star colon 80, which I will explain here, and I'll explain half of it in a minute. Uh, there's also something missing, which is the server name. And because the server name is missing and everything has to be star 80, these are all exactly equivalent. Okay, so as far as Apache is concerned, a request coming into 192.168.68.12 uh, matches all of these, so the very first one is the one that gets served up. Okay, and that's right now why I'm seeing the default site. Okay, now in order to allow for two of these at a time, I need to provide some difference between each of the sites. So I've only got two sites that I'm really interested in, which is red and blue. Uh, then I can explain probably a little bit better than last time the purpose of this default site. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give my server two IP addresses, so 192.168.68.12 and Dot 13. And right now, of course, uh, well, it does show something here because I had it loaded a second ago uh, as I was doing some testing, but you can see now if I try to reload it, uh, absolutely nothing is working. It's only the 12. Now, in order to make this work, what I need to do is I need to modify my list here so that I can see more than one IP address. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either add a new network adapter and give it a different IP address, or uh, you can do what I'm about to do here, which is I'm going to give the same Ethernet address, or the same Ethernet card, two IP addresses. And the way how you do this is you go off to the NetPlan folder, and we take a look at the file called 00installerconfig.yaml and quite simply we come in here into the addresses and because this is a list of addresses all that I need to do is list off my second address that I want 13 slash 24. Okay and what this does is this now says that eth0 has two addresses the dot 12 and the dot 13. Okay, so we save the file, and of course, again, you can't just pick any number at all. You've got to make sure that you're not causing conflicts. And within my network, I know that this one's set aside. 
Okay, uh, once you save it, uh, same as before, you have to say net plan apply, and that will make the changes happen. And let's do an IP ADR show. And now you can see that my ethernet now has two addresses, it has a dot 12 as well as a dot 13. Okay, so over here, let me reload this page, that's fine and come over here and load this page, and at least it's not spinning, so I know it is responding, uh, but it just says that this is the default index file. Okay, well, why is that? Well, again, it has to do with this list of things. Since every virtual host has exactly the same set of parameters, I'm going to end up serving up the one in the default location. Now, in order to show the two different things, what I need to do is to go over to the site's available folder, or you could also do it in sites enabled, and I'm going to modify, say, the blue site, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to make a very simple change. So what this says, says virtual host on all interface or any IP address listening on port 80. Okay, so there's a hint for the next one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to uh, 12. So now what it says is that any virtual request or any request that comes in for virtual host on 192.168.68.12 port 80 is going to be sent over to the blue folder and no, no, red.conf and this one right here of course I'm going to change the 192.168.68.13 and this file says that anything that comes in here on 13 is going to be served up by the red site. Okay, now, sorry here. Okay, and of course now we're going to cat 000 default. Now, sorry, I'm going to cat everything. Okay, um, sorry, wrong thing. Uh, sites available. Sites enabled would be a much better one for me to actually show you. Sites enabled. Sorry about this. Okay, cat star. Okay, here we go. So here's my three sites. Okay, so you'll notice that I've got three sites enabled. I've got the default one, which is saying, okay, well, anything at all, pick it up, um, send it off to the default. If something comes in on 12, it's going to be handed out to the blue site. Anything on 13 is going to be handed out to the red site. So now the question is, okay, if I reload my 13 page right now, what do we expect will happen? Now, you might look at this and say, well, hey, that matches because it says star. Well, unfortunately, it's not exactly the way how it works here. Uh, what Apache does is it goes through everything looking for the closest possible match. And this one right here would end up matching because this is the one that specifies the IP address. Okay, And if I had another IP address like 14 and I didn't have anything attached to it, then guess what? It would be handed by this one. But now the 13 should hand up something a little bit different rather than the site except I forgot to do something. So hopefully you're looking at me and you're saying, hey, you forgot something. Remember that when you make changes to the config files, you do need to say systemctl reload Apache 2 to actually make the changes happen. Okay, so sorry about that, I forgot that one. Let's try reloading this page now, and hey, this is good, it's giving me the 13, and this one says 12, but that's probably just kept in the cache. And if I ask to simply reload the page, it'll show me these. So the result is now I've been able to bring up the two different sites using two different IP addresses that happen to be on the same machine. Okay, now something to remember, uh, you can't just come in here and start making up numbers. If your machine doesn't actually have the address it doesn't is not actually configured to have the IP address dot 13. This is not going to work. You have to go on. You have to do two things. You have to enable it uh, at the IP level so it actually picks up the packets. This is simply a configuration thing that happens on the host, uh, on the virtual host. Now the final thing that I want to do a quick little demonstration of has to do with a thing called a default site. Uh, I told you last time uh, it's always a good idea to have this around and have it enabled. Okay, and right now you can see it is enabled, but it doesn't seem to be showing because 13 shows reds and 12 shows all the blue stuff. Okay, so what's the third or what's this default site about? Okay, well, sometimes you might have to come in here. Just give me a second. Okay, sometimes you might want to do some work, say, on the red site. And what you might want to do is say a2 disk site red.conf. Okay, and what that will do is that will disabled the red site. Now if I do a system CTL reload Apache 2, okay, and um, I go off to site number 12, what do we see? Well, we see the blue site. Okay, I'll even hit the refresh here a couple times to make sure it isn't in a cache. And if you go off to site number 13, 
okay, and refresh, you'll see that I'm actually getting up the default, the default site. Okay, so what's happening? Well, because, okay, once again, cat star for all the sites enabled, there are currently two sites enabled because I disabled the red one because I was doing some work on it. So if my request comes in at 13, uh, Apache would look at this and saying, okay, well, this is one possibility because it does match. Uh, here's the next, well, sorry, this doesn't match at all because it's the wrong thing, and that's it. So did I find anything that matches at all? And yeah, I return back the first one, okay, because I didn't find anything better. I found just the default. So this is one reason why having a default site can be, uh, can be somewhat useful, okay, uh, so that if you switch things off, you can at least show something, or more to the point, it isn't because you shut it down for sort of doing maintenance, but you probably forgot to enable it, okay, that's actually more, more of the, uh, the appropriate response. In fact, uh, I'll be honest, when I ran my first uh, recording a few minutes ago before I did this one, uh, I actually got confused and I couldn't figure out why my default site was being included. Well, it's because I had switched off one of the sites and then I said some bad words and I stopped the recording and decided to start it again from the beginning. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. That's how you deal with multiple sites. So it's very simple. Uh, if, you, if your machine has multiple IP addresses, you just have to come in here to the virtual host and before the colon, you mark down the IP address about which things you'd like to serve up. Okay, so what if you only have one IP address on your machine? Okay, well then you have some other things. So guess what? The next one has to do with this part right here, the colon 80, and that is going to be suggest or, uh, selecting which site to serve up based on the port number. Okay, so uh, come back for that one.